just feel like it's your own personal choice. There's there's some people that I'm sure would just be like, hey, okay. I, I want to split it with you this time. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin have finally decided to speak on their upcoming divorce. As crazy as that sounds, that's exactly where things seem to be spiraling toward. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, who got married in an amazingly romantic wedding ceremony over three years ago, might just be headed for divorce. While this makes Haley Baldwin fans awfully sad, Justin Bieber fans are divided. The reasons for the alleged divorce can be surprising for anyone who's not been following the recent scuffles between the couple over the years. So, how are Justin and Haley responding to the talks about their divorce? Let's find out in this video. You may be surprised to find out that Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin's marriage has almost ended at least once in the past as well. When things became public, the couple had to come forward to publicly address the issue as well. And although they got back together that time, they still had to spill some details for the reasons they were heading for divorce. While things appear severely shaky between the two, at the moment, it appears that it all happened in the past as well. In other words, their marriage was on the verge of dissolving. According to them, that's when Haley Baldwin was able to seek sensible guidance and Justin Bieber turned to prayer. Haley Baldwin and Justin Bieber, the supermodel and pop singer, recently opened up about their marriage and why she was on the verge of calling it quits. Despite the fact that both Haley and Justin had become Christians, their young marriage met a snag early on and she was overwhelmed. As they began to negotiate life together, Justin claimed that there were evenings when he was blogging his thoughts about Haley and praying that God would protect her. They also had to deal with some very trying situations. Haley also said that Justin Bieber's mental health concerns were a little too much for her to take during a recent edition of the In Good Faith with Chelsea and Judah Smith podcast. According to Us Weekly, Justin had previously informed her that he was having out-of-body experiences. This is what Haley Baldwin had to say regarding the situation. I remember I called my mom a few different times. One particular time when we were in Brooklyn, I was calling her crying and I was like, I just can't do it. There's no way that I'm going to be able to do this if it's going to be like this forever. And I just remember she was so calm on the phone and she was like, it's going to pass. You're going to be fine and he's going to be healthy and we're here for you revealed the 24-year-old during the interview. The pair married in a New York City courtroom in September 2018, followed by a formal wedding ceremony in South Carolina the following year. The young couple's first year of marriage wasn't easy, according to Haley, especially after Justin was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Despite her reservations, Haley stated that she couldn't give up on Justin and that she thought their relationship would endure. She added to her initial remark saying, Imagine abandoning somebody in the middle of the worst time of their life, potentially. I'm not that type of person, she continued. So I was going to stick it out, no matter what the outcome was going to be. It was really hard. There were days when I was literally like, I don't know if he's going to be okay. Something really deep down inside me was like, he's going to be through it. I just didn't know how long it was going to take. Justin also went on to explain how strong the bond in their relationship was and how it helped him heal. I think it was just time that healed things. Just us showing up for each other every day, being consistent, me seeing that she wasn't going anywhere, he said. I think I had a lot of, like, rejection issues that I just had to fight my way through. But her just continuously showing up every day and being there for me, I just kept seeing that over and over and over. And it just became more secure and more secure with where we're at in our relationship. He emphasized that marrying each other was a significant commitment that needed them both to take a step of faith. And Haley stated unequivocally that the couple would fight for one another and their love in the future. Haley Bieber then spoke up, saying, Neither of us was going to be the person to say, I quit, she said. Neither of us was going to be the one to walk away from the situation because we were both like, hey, we chose to fight for this. So we're gonna keep fighting past whatever we need to do. The fact that Haley Baldwin could not exactly tolerate Justin at a time in her life isn't exactly too unplausible. That's because this is exactly what his ex-girlfriend Selena Gomez had to say as well. 
Let's have a look at a brief part of her interview from 2020, when she almost exposed Justin Bieber entirely. The interviewer said, Blues You To Love Me is your first number one song off this album. Tell me about this song. Keep in mind that this is a song that is said to have been written by Bieber. Selena Gomez replied, I'm very proud of it. It had a different meaning to me now from when I wrote it. I felt I didn't get a respectful closure. And I had accepted that, but I know I needed some way to just say a few things that I wish I'd said. It's not a hateful song. It's a song that's saying, I had something beautiful, and I would never deny that it wasn't that. It was very difficult, and I'm happy it's over. And I felt like this was a great way to just say, you know, it's done. And I understand that, and I respect that. And now here I am stepping into a whole other chapter. The interviewer then asked, saying goodbye to Justin Bieber, who I'm assuming you're speaking about. Selena agitated that Justin's name was taken, said, you had to get the name in, I get it. The next question was, do you look back on that time and when you think about the parts of your life that were painful, that you've kind of moved on from, is that one of the harder parts? No, because I found the strength in it. It's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality, and I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse, she replied. You mean emotional abuse, asked the interview, interrupting her sentence. Selena replied, yes, and I think that's something that I have to find a way to understand as an adult. And I had to understand the choices I was making. As much as I definitely don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about this, I'm really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt. And I found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible. Following this, plenty of tweets got posted against and in favor of Gomez. One fan wrote, They called Selena a liar when she was a victim of emotional abuse and told her to get over it since Justin is a married man. But now they want her to speak up on this situation? She owes y'all nothing. Another one joked about the legitimacy of the abuse. Selena, I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. Pap, what did Justin say to verbally abuse you? Selena, crickets. However, these were soon met by fierce responses from Gomez fans. What did Justin say to verbally abuse you? I don't care whether you like Selena Gomez or not. I want you to imagine being asked that while you walk down the street. What would your response be when the only question you're being asked is about your abuser? What did Justin say to verbally abuse you? I love your new album. Over. What do you think about the ongoing situation between Haley and Bieber? Could it lead to their divorce? Do share your thoughts in the comments below.